Got some more from Zoids. KZ here from Cape Town. How you doing? How you doing? Today we're going to have a look at another product from Thunderhead Creations. Now I have received the Mech Mod, which I reviewed, which I am still using for flavor testing. Nom nom nom. I have reviewed the Thunderhead Creations Torin RTA, which I really like and still use to this day. Nice pay and lychee. No, 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 no. And then I reviewed the Torrent Solo RDA, which which is a very nice RDA. I mean, it's a nice looking RDA, easy to build. Um, I, I, I had no issues, except that it did not give me the flavor which I was expecting there. It still had nice flavor, but it's not the flavor which I have got out of my other atomizers. So now we're going to have a look at the Torrent RDA, which is actually an older, older RDA. But I've been using it for a few days, though, and I thought, it's definitely worthy to check this little guy out to actually do a review on that. Now the coils I will be using is coils from the Coil Forger. You can see the logo over there. And they sent me a couple of sets along. Um, and I must say, they look very, very well made. On the close-up, I will actually show you the three varieties which they have sent me though. But the set which I will use today is Nano Aliens from the Coil Forger. I will post a link at the bottom just below in the description so you go and check out the web page and actually go and see the variety of coils which they do make they are local south african based but very very nice coils we will check out the flavor of those coils today because i will use a set of 2.5 millimeter diameter alien nanos inside this specific build all right so here's the little guy typical um thunder creations packaging a question which i often find is how much money have i made out of youtube and I'll just repeat it again for those people who just start watching. Zero. Nada. The, the thing is you need to reach $100 before you actually start getting paid by YouTube. The highest I've come is $34. But they get so sneaky. They have re um, removed a few videos of mine, which accumulate three videos of mine, which collectively comes to about 80,000 views. So I've dropped down from $34 again to $21, I think. So yeah, it's ridiculous. But in any case, so um, the cash which I actually earn is from my patrons. So I just want to thank you guys a lot for that again. I truly appreciate it. In any case, so yeah, the packaging, very nice little black velvet bag. It does not state what is inside though i mean whether it's the torrent solo whether it's the mech or the torrent rta but i mean the packaging is exactly the same with the logo on top of it um, and then you also get this little keyring which is going to give you an indication another one which i have is the stainless steel 304 rda version and then you get it in this little guy as what you do in all the um, Thunder Head Creations products, very, very nice little guy. And if you actually remove this guy to have a look at the atomizer, you, we all know by now that the bottom actually doubles up as an atomizer stand. All right, so I'll just loosen this little guy because we're gonna have a look at him just now. Now this is a 24 millimeter RDA. It comes with a squonk pin, a gold plated squonk pin, but I find this guy to be best as a dripper and um dual coil you you can put a single build in here but i find dual coils is where this guy actually does shine so inside this little black bag <clears throat> you're going to get this typical packaging over here you're going to get four um grub screws which are hexagonal four um allen key which has also been included then you get your gold plated bottom feeding pin as i said and then what is also included is a few of o-rings which are spares so these little guys and then obviously a little warranty card with a bit of information on Thunder Creations and that's that. Let's check out the RDA. Before we start I just want to show you the actual coils which I am going to use. These are the Nano Aliens and if you have a look at the bottom over there they do tell you that the, the it's got an internal diameter of 2.5. You've got 328 nichromes and then with the outer nichrome 38 gauge and it's supposed to ohm in at around 0.17. So if you just want to have a look at the quality of these coils, which I think is absolutely awesome. Beautiful looking. Very nicely made. Okay, then what you also have are these aliens. Now there is the specs for these specific aliens. Now you'll see it's 326 gauges. Yeah, they actually do also state that it's Nichrome 80 coming in at 0 0.12 in dual format though. And their number of wraps is 6 with the internal diameter of 3. Very neatly made. Last but not least, for all you guys that also enjoy a bit of fused claptons, there you have it. Also with the information at the bottom over there. Okay, 
it's just normal claptons instead of aliens but exactly the same specs but very nice and clean made coils 24 millimeter stainless steel 304 goodness over here the owner can actually see the information of Thunder Head Creations at the bottom with the serial number 12,790 and you can also see the gold plated solid 510 pin there's no hole on the inside over there so this is not the squonk pin and then uh, I've got your nice little logo which is fairly large but it is a nice looking logo so it is does not bother me you've got some nice grip at the top of here now you do have one solid piece of top cap you've got one two oval holes on the sides which is going to actually give you a very nice restricted direct lung hit if you prefer so but you can close it down to try and go for a bit of MTL action as well you've got an Ultim colored PEI tip which is 810 but I will not be using this specific tip I find there are better looking tips I will just use this nice looking clear tip of mine also didn't find anything wrong with the threading over there machining all in all very nice let's open up this guy if you have a look over there you will actually see a little notch sitting right over on that side and if you look on your deck itself you will actually see you have got that little cut out over there and that is where this little notch is actually going to fit in so you can see there it goes on and this actually allows the top cap to be able to lock in place allowing you to adjust your air hole from wide open to slightly closed but yeah because of that locking it's also very easy to remove your RDA from your device double o-rings keeping the top cap in place and there we have got our build deck very similar to the RTA which I really enjoy and that's why I actually thought give this guy a go you can see your peak insulation running all the way around which means that these two guys are going to be the positive post those two guys are the negative post you have got a total of 14 small little holes on each side where airflow is now it is fairly a narrow section where airflow is going to come through and that together with the fact that this is a smallish oval type of hole is going to give you that restricted feeling you do have got four allen key grub screws that you are going to use for your dual builder but as i said you do not necessarily have to put in two coils you can also put in a single coil which is going to run from that side to either that side lying it in the middle or that side all the way to that side still lying in the middle if you decide to do that you can put in a nice four 4.5 millimeter diameter coil but as i said i'm going to put in two 2.5 millimeter diameter coils because i want my coils to buy di directly over those little air, air holes but this nice 45 degree angle bull deck postless bull deck your juice chamber might not appear that deep though but just remember because you have got a single piece top cap that as soon as you put on your top cap that that juice well is actually going to be all the way up until your specific air holes now these air holes also do slant downwards all right which is going to make it very difficult to actually over drip or over squonk because you've got your air holes on either sides um, it's going to allow and also your coils my coils are going to be positioned on the sides which allows you to do plenty of dripping right down the middle without any possibility of it actually going into the air holes to remove the 510 pin you're actually going to be able to remove your positive posts allowing you to clean this guy in all the nooks and crannies now that we've got it fairly close you will also see there's a cutout on that side and a cutout on that side so it does not matter um, which side you're actually going to position that little notch um, it should actually just lock in place the drip the portion of your top cap actually does have a nice slope it's also going to help bring some of the flavor together no problem with the tolerances and also no problem with adjusting the airflow and these little cutouts at the top actually helps a lot with grip and there's not too many of them so it is uh, actually a very nice design I like this
Right, juice I'm using today is this Anarchy, but this is the Mango Ice from the specific brand Anarchy. And I just want to thank Radar Samar from Seamless Vape Distribution for sending me along these quite a lot of juices though, of which the whole Anarchy range was one of them. I find the range to be very, very nice. Um, there are obviously some I prefer more than the others. I like the lychee on ice. I like the specific mango on ice. They've got a nice custard melon ice cream, which is awesome as well. There's a lemon tart. Would have preferred slightly more lemon in this little guy, but be that as it may, do yourself a favor. And if you see it somewhere and there are testers available in the vape shop, do it, do it, just give it a go. But I'm using the mango ice today. And yeah, there's this little guy I'm putting on the top of my VT75D. I think it just looks boss, this old stainless steel setup. Look at that, nice, drippy, drippy, drippy in there. Yeah, man. As you can see, even though those juice wells appear low on the building deck, as soon as you put the top, top cap on, you can actually see by the height of your airflow holes that you've got can quite add some substanti substantial amount of cotton and juice as well. What a smooth vape. Extremely smooth. Very quiet vape as well. I think the placements of my calls are very good. I mean, if you look at, have a look at that picture, the air which is actually going to come in from the sides and then rise up from the bottom as well. The air on the outsides is actually going to go past the coils, bringing up those flavors as well. And the air is heating the bottom of the bottom half, especially the inner halves of those coils, are going to turn on to the inside. It's going to be forced down the inside and bring up those flavor um, from the center of those coils all the way to the top. And I mean, it's just it just works. Very flavorful vape. Oh my word, this thing is very nice. Personally, I think this is a much better option than the Torrent Solo RDA. Um, simply because this guy's also got a bottom feeding pin. But the flavor is very good. Very good on this guy. And such a smooth vape. Oh, but um, you're not going to get a lot of airflow on this guy. As I said, you've got those small little 14 small little holes on either side of your posts, your building posts. And then you've got these only two small oval holes on, on side. So you're going to get a very nice restricted direct lung it let's quickly close it down only a third open i think it's still too much airflow to go through for an mtl closing it down totally you can actually go for an mtl but your problem is you're going to lose flavor so yeah i would keep the airflow wide open for those people who love especially love um the airflow of the Torin beast rta if you've tested that um also nice restricted direct lung RTA this guy and this guy fantastic RDA restricted direct lung pros and cons on this guy con could possibly be that your logo when your airflow is open your logo is not aligned with the front side of your mod when you actually close your airflow then it is aligned your top cap comes off very very easily so I mean if you're gonna do that it might pop off there but it's not gonna pop off keeping it upside down just be that in mind so it is fairly loose there but it makes adjusting the airflow very nice and the airflow does stay in place after you've actually adjusted it though it could heat up as well because remember this is a flavor chasing there's not a lot of air coming in there to actually um, cool down the coils so this RDA is not made to chain vape on definitely not it's going to heat up there it doesn't become hot hot but I can feel it starting to warm up at the moment there. On the con side as well, because your grub screws tighten your legs from the sides, your flat bills, you're actually going to twist your legs when you tighten down. That's why I take my calls and I actually twist my legs before I cut the different lengths so that they're automatically aligned in the, 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 the correct direction in which you're gonna put down your grub screws. I've got no idea why they did not rather put the grub screws on, on either sides of these air holes because there actually is space and then you would not have had that specific issue the pros obviously is because this guy locks in place it's very easy to actually remove this atomizer and put it actually back on again 18 drip tips you can use any 18 drip tip that's cool beans the variety of colors in which this thing is released so yeah there's a lot of matchy matchy options regarding that as well builds very nice even though I like the restrictedness of this car, I would have preferred it slightly more airflow than what it currently is, but it is very enjoyable as this is. I think that the deck looks beautiful. 
Um, you can put in a lot of juice there. It's very difficult to over squonk with this guy. Just bear in mind because this guy is a bit loose though, it is possible that your juice is actually going to, could, could actually seep through between your top cap and the sides. I'm vaping it at 75 watts at the moment. It's coming in at 0 0.14, so slightly less than what they actually say on the package. The coil forger, these coils do not disappoint. I don't have any ohm jumpages. Let's quickly just see. Let's quickly put this guy, pull this guy off, and then put this guy back on again and see if it comes in at the same ohms. Okay, yes. And there you can see still 0 0.14. So yeah, I don't have any issues with, with, with uh, ohmage jumps on this specific guy or resistance jumps. It stays exactly the same. Very nice flavor. These coils are bang on. Very good job. Thank you very much, Radar, for sending these guys along. I know you don't make the coils, um, but the coil forger does. Just check out the Facebook page at the bottom over there. And um, yeah, I think it's a very nice bang for buck RDA this. Nothing I would break. Nothing I would throw away. Nothing I would necessarily get rid of though. This is Kaiser signing over now. Cheers out.